Now, in terms of, uh, we also understand that Mr. Floyd had previously been diagnosed with COVID-19, right? Correct. And he may not be symptomatic, have been symptomatic on March 25th, but it's fair to say that um, a lot is unknown about the effects of COVID-19 on a person's lungs, long term. I mean, n not as much as it would appear to be the case. I mean, because obviously it's a viral illness. We have a, a huge amount of information about the long term effects of viral illnesses. And those can affect <clears throat> the elasticity of the lungs, right? Not the elasticity. It would be, if it's having any effect, it would be within the sensory receptors within the trachea bronchial three. So it really wouldn't have anything to do with the elasticity. Okay. Now, but we also learned quite a bit about the toxicology as well. Oh, excuse me. On the COVID-19, you testified that um, treatment of people with COVID-19 includes leaving them in the prone position, right? Correct. And so those people who would be treated for COVID-19 in the prone position, based on your calculations, you would have a 24% decrease in the EELV. Right. I mean, the, this is people with COVID where they're during the time that they have COVID. Right. But right. that's yeah. what you'd expect, that same decrease in the EELV. No, mm -hmm. it's going to be very different in somebody who has, say, pneumonia. What's going to happen in the prone position will be very variable from one person to the other as a result of the, of the pneumonia. It's different than normal lungs. Okay. So, so <clears throat> in essence, every person is different. Oh, for certain. And now, uh, you calculated uh, his respiratory rate to be 22, right? Correct. And you said that that was within the normal respiratory rate? Yep. And um, you would not describe him as hyperventilating? No, and the word hyperventilation is open to an awful lot of misinterpretation. That is most certainly not hyperventilation. No. And hyperventilation assists in the removal of carbon dioxide from the, from the body, right? It's confusing. It's not, it's not that simple. In its simplest terms. But in the simplest terms, yes, it does assist. It, it, it gets rid of carbon dioxide. All right. But now, it can be frequently misleading. Okay. Now, in terms of the toxicology of Mr. Uh, Floyd, we did learn that... Um, there were some controlled substances in his system, right? Yes. Uh, we know that there was, for example, um, nicotine, right? Yes. Mr. Floyd was a smoker. Correct. And smoking changes the lung function, agreed? In some people. Now, we also learned uh, more, and, and I'm not suggesting that people who, all people who smoke have lung problems. Right? Less than 10% do. 90% don't have any. Okay. How do you, uh, you look for the microphone? Oh, sorry. 